Hey guys, welcome back to the Cutting Edge Garage. Uh, today I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough and demo of the Texa car software. Now Texa is generally known for the heavy duty truck software, but um, they've come a long, long way with their car software and have excellent coverage here in the U.S. now. Uh, today I'm just running this on my Panasonic CF33 Toughbook, but you can run uh, the Texas software on almost any Windows 10 laptop as long as it's uh, somewhat modern and the specs line up with their minimum requirements. But let's go ahead and jump right into the car software. Alright, this is the first screen you guys are going to see. Um, these are split into light commercial vehicles, passenger cars, and supercar. Um, it is worth noting that the supercar coverage is a separate add-on with Texa. Um, the reason they did that is um, it's quite expensive for them to develop all of the supercar software for like Lamborghinis and Bentleys and Ferraris and Maserati, stuff like that. So, um, so what we did is we split it off to where you can buy just the passenger cars at a lower price or you can add on the supercars if that's something that you work on. But today, let's just go take a look at passenger cars. Um, from here, you can just uh, you can either select from the list, or you can just go to the make, like we're going to do a BMW today, and you just hit the orange button on the right. That is the automatic VIN scan. That'll just scan the VIN in the vehicle, make the selection for you, and you're done. But since we're just doing a demo today, I'm going to go to my diagnostic history, and I can just hit my last diagnosed vehicle, and it takes me straight to it. Now that we got our vehicle selected, um, let's take a look at everything we have on the left side of the screen. So first we got the technical data sheets. Um, that's just going to be basic technical data. Um, so like engine code identification to help you identify the engine vehicle ID, stuff like that. Um, what's really cool, let's move on to technical data and checks. So here we have mechanical data. And you would just pick your submodel here. And here is a lot of useful information. So the ones I use the most are like lubricants and capacities. That's going to have all of your um, fluid types and fluid capacities. It's a nice quick reference so you don't have to walk over to your either your service counter or another computer and then look up you know fluid capacities. Uh, same thing for tightening torques. It's got all your tightening torques and sequences you're going to need. For, you know head gaskets, valve cover gaskets, uh, stuff like that. And of course, your wheel torques are in here as well. Um, next thing on the list is pass through. Now, you're going to get this message when you click it. Um, you know, for more information, contact your trusted dealer. Um, pass through, uh, J2534 pass through is coming. Um, the OEM certifications do take quite a while. We are working on it. Um, we've done preliminary testing, but it's not quite ready for release yet. But that is coming soon, so stay tuned for more news on that. And then customer management. Um, here you can save information when you do your diagnostics on a customer by customer basis. That way if you ever need to go back and reference information or a diagnosis uh, you've done previously, it's really easy. You can search by customer name, VIN number, model, anything like that. So we can go ahead and close out of that. Now I want to jump right into self-diagnosis. All right, first uh, option on the list is the total global scan um, that is gonna, that's like your health check. It's gonna ping every module that's available in the vehicle. It's gonna tell you what codes are in there and what modules are avail available. Um, fortunately, it can't do it on the demo mode, but it just gives you a nice list of all the modules that it's talking to and all the codes that are in it. Then you can go in there, select module by module, which one you're gonna go with. Um, or you can clear all the codes from that screen if you would like as well. Um, next to that, we have vehicle maintenance. Um, this is going to be all your quick service stuff like resetting brakes, um, resetting engine uh, engine oil levels after you do an oil change, stuff like that. All right, adjustments and coding. This is kind of a quick shortcut for all your adjustments and coding. So like if you need to initialize modules, to, um, doing some of your uh, ADOS calibration, like you see here we have front video camera calibration, the shortcut's right in here. And of course, um, to do the ADOS stuff, you will need um, the Texa ADOS package. Um, if you want any more info on that, just give us a call. And of course, you got like steering angle resets, stuff like that. Um, adjustments and coding is a nice, quick shortcut to that stuff. So let's jump back to self diagnosis. Last thing is activation tests. That's going to be like your injector test where you can cut on and off injectors, see your cylinder contribution, uh, things like that. Uh, but my preferred way, as um, I usually go into the total global scan. But we can also pick module by module. And I want to jump in, let's jump into petrol injection. So that'd be your engine control module. Let's jump right in. We're going to go to demo diagnosis. And it is worth noting that this is uh, a recording from a live vehicle. It's not just a simulation. All of this, all of this information and data was taken off a live vehicle they were actually hooked to. 
Uh, of course, you're going to get this message that say put uh, put a vehicle in pad mode. That's where your uh, it says you need to press start stop button three times within 0.8 seconds. Just three times real quick. Of course, you already know this. We'll just click. Do not show this message again. We'll hit next. And that's going to take us right into our diagnosis. Turn on the instrument panel. That just means turn on the ignition. That's all there is to that. All right, so it drops us right into the faults page because, of course, that's generally what techs want to see first is all their faults. And we got a few here in the vehicle. Now, note the color of this triangle on the left side, left hand side of the screen is green. That means this, that means this code has already been cleared. But um, one thing I like about the Texas software is that uh, this code it doesn't just disappear when you clear the code. It just turns green to let you know um, this code has been cleared out of the module. Um, if it is red, that is an active fault. And yellow is an inactive fault or a memory fault. And you see if I click or if I select one of these fault codes and I hit the web button, that should give us a little more repair information here. Um, it is worth noting that uh, to have access to this additional repair information, you will need to be subscribed to iSupport. Uh, just contact your dealer if you're interested in that. And here we can see solve problems. And this is another tech that has gone through this diagnosis and put in his symptoms, uh, probable causes, and his solutions that he found. So that'd be really, really helpful, um, giving you a hit list of common issues to start with first. Of course, that's not a diagnosis. You still need to follow up and actually verify and test all the components before you order anything. All right, of course, from this screen in the bottom left, we got a print button. We can just print a quick, quick report, or we can save it. Or um, we do have a shortcut second from the left. That is our vehicle sheets. That's our technical documentation. It's the same tech docs that we saw uh, in the previous screen. Uh, you'll find that shortcut all over the place because it's really nice to be able to re reference that information quickly. All right, and then the last button is just uh, the erase. That is, that's just going to clear your codes. That's all there is to that. You notice I got some buttons here uh, grayed out. Um, the first one is a wiring diagram button. Now, if it's available, when you highlight a code, you can just hit that wiring diagram button, and it'll take you straight to that component on the wiring diagram. Um, really handy and useful for uh, running down diagnosis really quick. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time in another uh, repair information software. And then, of course, the button next to that would be freeze frame information if it's available, then the eye support button, and then the general help buttons all the way on the right. All right, so that covers the fault page pretty good. Let's jump over to parameters. Uh, this is going to be all your live data. And, you know, modern engines, they can have quite a few data PIDs. So if you want to find something really quick, all we can do is we can just hit the filter button down here in the bottom left. And then we can just type in search by parameter name if I can spell it correctly. We can select the ones we want at the check mark and then we just see in the parameters we want to see. Um, I like the filter, it's fast and easy. Uh, next to the filter button um, we have the min max value. If you hit the refresh button on that it's just all that does is reset your minimum and maximum values and those are the values that are green and red underneath the, uh, the current data value. Uh, next to that, we have uh, another the same exact shortcut to our technical documentation, same same sheet as before. Like I said, that's uh, kind of sprinkled throughout the software to make it easier on you. All right, if we want to get rid of our filter, let's press our filter buttons again, and we're back to seeing all of the parameters. Um, you can also save parameters, uh, a parameter list, a custom list. If you go in this bottom left button, um, we have some that are already here. And we can select which ones we want. You name it whatever you want. And then every time you hook up to this vehicle, it doesn't even have to be this particular vehicle, uh, the same model vehicle. You can go to your favorites list, and then the more you add, you can add, you know, have different tabs of uh, whatever data you want to see. And of course, you can edit or delete or print it. All right, that covers all the major stuff in the parameter screen. Let's jump over to ECU info now. Um, this is where your like calibration IDs, uh, stuff like that, are going to live. 
quick reference if you need uh, like ID numbers, calibration ID numbers for your uh, for your control unit. Um, next tab is activations. Now this is going to be all the tests and things you can just turn on and off. So like here we can actuate uh, engine cooling fan. Um, we can do the fuel pump. This is where your injector cutoffs are going to be. Um, you can actuate wastegate valves, uh, the tank breather valve, and of course um, air clearing. That's just going to clear the codes. Um, most most all vehicles in Texas you'll have that option in activations as well. So just remember difference between activations and settings. Activations just let, lets you turn stuff off and on or test it. Now if we jump over to settings, this is going to be stuff that you can actually change or do relearns on. So you see the first one is like acceleration sensor learning. So if we you know replace that sensor we got to learn it and that option lives right here in the uh, in the settings screen. But if you guys need a little bit more help in understanding what these are um, see this little yellow circle over here on the right hand side I can highlight that setting press the help button and it'll just give you a little introduction on what this code this uh, this procedure actually does and how it works any warnings any prerequisites you need to meet before you can do this setting will always be listed here so that can make it a lot easier and a lot less confusing Uh, of course, injector calibration is going to live here as well. Anything you can either learn, adapt, or change is going to be in settings. Activations are just for tests and flipping stuff off and on, and like on a not permanent type basis. All right, guys, that about covers the basics of the Texacar software. Uh, if you guys have any additional questions, uh, please head on over to our website, ceasusa.com. Or, or call our helpline at 855-839-2626. Um, our guys are always happy to help you and answer any questions that you may have. Um, we're always coming out with new updates for the Texas software. Um, if you'd like to get your tool up to date, please give us a call. We can certainly help you with that. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.